The Walt Whitman Archive at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln brings Whitman to life for thousands of scholars, students, and general readers around the world. Archive co-director Ken Price imagines Whitman would be delighted with the extensive electronic archive that makes his work so accessible. You have to think that he would be delighted with that. I mean, he wanted to reach the masses from the beginning, and this makes that material freely available to anybody, anywhere, anytime. Under Price's leadership, the archive has developed into what's been called the gold standard of digital humanities. And that's the kind of reputation that Ken has. And when he brought um, the Whitman Archive to Nebraska in 2000, um, he brought a small program that now has turned into a much larger program and, of course, was uh, instrumental in establishing the Center for Digital Research in the Humanities at, at UNL. Price is currently working on a new book about Whitman, based in part on documents Price discovered at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. What a wonderful gift to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Price. The documents were written by Whitman when he worked for the Attorney General's office following the Civil War. Among them is a letter Whitman drafted for President Andrew Johnson. Clearly they would get a start on a document sometimes and then hand it over to this person that they recognized had you know, good mind and, and great writing skills. So maybe a good portion of these documents are in fact Whitman uh, giving voice to a policy that he understood because he'd been working in the uh, office for a number of years. The Whitman Archive and other digital humanities projects create a team environment among students, faculty, libraries, computer scientists, and experts at other universities. Dr. Price welcomes the collaboration. He's a, a wonderful colleague, um, very, it, it, well, enormously generous um, with his um, students and his former students. He's quite good at involving a variety of people in, in the work that he's undertaking. It's all flowered in a way that, you know, was far beyond anything I could have hoped. And we've uh, managed to develop a digital center here that's uh, grown in prominence, is now an international leader. Um, these are, are things that just couldn't have been foreseen, but they're, they're very, very uh, pleasant to see.